Hey guys, I am doing a T-Mart and AliExpress haul, just some items that I bought from those two websites. Those are the two that I'm currently obsessing over. Um, so just a whole bunch of random things um, for the house and for things in general, not beauty related. Um, I got from AliExpress a new piece of artwork, not as nice as that one, but oh well. And then just, yeah, some iPhone things and things around the house from um, T-Mart. So I will start with the iPhone things. Now, I actually don't have an iPhone. <laughs> I am going to buy one, I just haven't yet. My phone is has long been breaking, um, but yeah, I haven't yet. And when I ordered these things about three weeks ago, because it takes three weeks to come, I had thought by now I would have had my iPhone, um, but I just haven't bought it yet. And now we're going away for two weeks soon, um, so I don't want to buy an iPhone and buy the plan and then go away so I'm not going to use it for two weeks. So we're holding off again, but I already got all these iPhone things, so I'm going to show them to you anyways. So the first thing is a brushed aluminum pretend um, case um, and I'm just using with Chad's iPhone just so you can see what it actually looks like with an iPhone in there um, so it just is the back and it's plastic but it's supposed to look kind of like a brushed aluminum with a pink tint to it so I thought that was really cute this is was four dollars and then I also got one of the little screen protectors for your iPhone if you go to like the future shop or Best Buy they cost a lot more and this one was three dollars actually I think like two something um, and it's just like the exact same, just a simple little screen protector. Then since I am running now, and actually I did find Chad's iPod that he lent me a while ago because I had lost it. So I'm using that now, but again, once I get my iPhone, I'm gonna be using that. Um, so I got one of these armbands and I got mine in purple. So your iPhone fits right in here and then you kind of stick it to your arm and then you get to go like that and listen to your music. So yeah, I got this and then also I'm going to be, actually I've signed up for two half marathons this year, so I'm gonna be using this when I run. So this thing was $5, which again is a lot cheaper than what you get in the stores. And I mean, it's just simple, it's just kind of foam in here, but it works for me. And then I also got one of those um, car charger kits, or I bought one of those, it hasn't come yet, because I guess for some reason they come separately. Um, so so you can charge your iPhone to your car. I was all planned, I really thought I would have an iPhone by now, but I don't. Uh, okay, so the next thing isn't um, phone related. Um, it are these weird little things. Um, they are, it's called Tadpole Sp Tadpole Spoon with Tea Strainer. Basically these are those tea infusers. So it kind of looks strange, it looks like this, and then it has little holes all there. And then you open it up and you put your loose tea leaves in here. Um, basically there is um, a David's tea that is in our city and they have like the most amazing teas, but it's all loose tea, you buy like a certain number of grams. Um, and I usually just drink tea from tea bags from the grocery store that already packaged, so, but they have like red velvet cake and s'mores and <laughs> all these crazy things. And I've talked to people who actually say like, it does taste really good and it's out. Oh. Anyways, so I haven't bought any yet because I was like, I don't have any strainers. And these were 99 cents for the pair. So I was like, you can't go wrong with that. Um, yeah, they're just plastic, but it's good enough. And then if I turn out that I really like doing that and like the loose tea leaves and it makes my tea drinking experience better, then I'll maybe invest in that, like an actual better one. Or I know they have, at David's Tea, they have like thermoses that have the strainer inside already built in. So again, maybe I'll do that. But for now, I figured it's good. <laughs> and yeah, just two of these simple little things. And then the next thing is something for Chad, which he was excited about, and I'm actually excited too. It's pretty cool. Um, it is a thermal infrared temperature gauge thing. Um, basically you can point it at something and it will tell you the temperature of that. Um, and it's actually really cool. I've been pointing it like at the dogs and at the wall and at me and yeah, <laughs> I like it too. So the reason we got this was for the house. We have a lot of cold spots in the house and we're wondering like where that cold air comes from. So we're checking like the seams of the doors. And right now we had just been like holding our hand in front of there, seeing where the air is blowing out if it's not properly sealed. But now with this, we can actually like use it. Oh, you can see. Oh, wait. so we're going to test. We're going to test my arm. It says it is 34 degrees. And then if we test our wall, 22 degrees, which would make sense because that's room temperature. If we test Molly, who's lying over there, her back is 28 degrees. Anyways, I could do this all day. It's just so much fun. And kind of out the window. The window is 
20.3 degrees. <laughs> Anyways, so it has a cool laser. You can do everything with it. Um, and yeah, this was $15, and I think the cheapest in like Home Depot and stores like that was like 42 or something. And it works really well. Like, and actually, I think it came with batteries, and no, it's Chad's happy with it. I think it's cool, and it has like a big range of temperatures if you need that. And yeah, so he was excited that he got something in my team art haul as well. <laughs> like, that's actually for him. Oh wait, so the last thing is my paintings, or are my paintings, and it just came like in a tube bubble wrap thing like that. Um, and I will insert a picture of what it should look like here. Um, so it doesn't really look like that too much, but that's okay. I had a really good experience with these ones. I mean, this just looks gorgeous. It was a different seller and a different painter, but I don't know, you just kind of have to go with it. And at first when I got those I didn't like it because I thought it was too yellow up there. So maybe with time and once these are like mounted I'll like them better. Um, but yeah, so it's also a thing or a panel of three this time. And our bedspread in our bedroom, and actually we have two different bedspreads, they're purple. So I wanted something purple-ish in our bedroom. Um, and the closet's purple too. So the first panel is this purple one because our bed is um, black and then the um, Linens and stuff are purple. Now they do have, it has like a little bit of a plastic over top just to keep the paint good. So I'm not going to take that off yet because I want to keep the painting nice. But, so this is the one. Actually, I don't mind this one. This looks kind of cool. And already looking at it at the little screen thing, it looks better because if from a distance, and I guess it'll be on the wall so it will be a distance. Um, but yeah, close up it doesn't look. Okay, well, it actually looks pretty cool. But <laughs> Oh, so this is the first one. Then this is the one I like the least. So I saw this and I was like, what? Just because, I don't know, if you look closely, it's all like just scribbles and stuff. But again, if I'm looking like from back here, well, this one, yeah, this one's a mess. So I think this one goes in the middle. <laughs> uh, and then the last one I really like. This one is really pretty. It's like this. Oh, it's hard to hold up. So this has lots of dark in it. It almost looks like a scene enemy or something. Ah! Anyways, <laughs> it's hard to show. Um, so those are those three, and I paid um, $49 for them, so almost 50 bucks. But yeah, they're canvas, and they hopefully will look nice. So we are going to be mounting them on wooden frames that we're going to build, and hopefully I don't um, nail pin Chad's finger, which almost happened last time. Um, and yeah, well, I'll probably do a video of showing you how we're going to do that on things now that we're pros after we did this five. Um, but those are everything that I got from AliExpress and T-Mart. I still should have some more things from actually both those places coming, um, but not enough probably to do a full haul. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.